Hello, dear friends. We are taking another look at that Nico drawing design pen set. Yesterday, we took a look at the Nico G. Today, we're taking a look. I want to say this is a school. It says Nico pen number five. So it doesn't actually say. We're going to use the Tachikawa holder. A little bit of a tight fit there. And we are inking in a Strathmore 500 series plate Bristol sketchbook. And we are using FW acrylic ink. And that would be in Payne's Gray. So, ooh, very fun. This is a much finer, much sharper. I'm glad I'm not using the Denik for this drawing nib, not nearly the flex that a G nib would have. This could be good if you're doing smaller background things. And it is a little more prone to tearing up the paper. So this is a very sharp pointed nib. It really doesn't like drawing from all angles, so you may have to approach a curve from a couple of different angles. And I am cleaning out bits of paper that get picked up in my nib as I go. I'll try using an even lighter hand. Wow, it's this, I'm having trouble with this one. All right, so do my usual call out. If you use this nib and enjoy this nib, and would like to share your work using this kind of a nib, please do. I'm actually having difficulty with it. Now I have enjoyed all the other nibs in the Nico drawing pin set. I feel like this is probably an architectural nib, but you guys might know better than I might. And I can always look it up for y'all if y'all wanna know, and let y'all know in the comments. But this is not a good nib for me. Now, having enjoyed so many of the other nibs that came in this set, I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt and just say it's just not working for me. It's just not nib for me. And that happens. You know, there can be great art supplies that just don't do it for you. That's okay. That doesn't make them any less and it doesn't make you any less either. That's why we try different things. That's why we experiment. It's why we share supplies with our friends, and that's why we watch reviews. Or this could just be a nib that I need to get used to. I mean, it is a very, very fine point. And I, as you guys saw in my last video, oh, my apologies. Uh, I tend to like bouncy, springy flick flex nibs that allow me a fair amount of control. So G nibs, Sagey nibs are all nibs I really enjoy. Whereas this might be quite ideal if you have a very delicate, say, shoujo manga style or like one of those really open Mobius kind of things going on. So maybe the problem is also just my style of drawing doesn't suit what I'm trying to do today with this nib. Maybe I ought to send this one over to a friend and see what they think. That's my other solution. I wish I lived near more traditional comic artists because then I could, who, who had the time, that's the big caveat, had the time to do reviews and had the time to do YouTube stuff because I would love to be able to give you guys as many viewpoints as possible. I really want to hammer home that there are so many different ways of doing things and there are so many different styles and ways of handling materials and you can learn a lot. Am I off camera? I'll zoom out a little bit. Sorry about that. You can learn a lot 
just by seeing how other people who do things differently and use materials you don't like, or even materials you love, but they use them in a different manner. So it's really important to try and seek out people who think about things differently than you do. Most of my webcomic friends do the majority of their work digitally, which means I'm, because I think I'm the only one who does her work with traditional media, I do watercolor comics, um, and some of them do do traditional media things as well, but their comic is digital. Um, it means I get to be surrounded by people who think differently than I do, so I get to I get introduced to so many new ideas, or new to me, or just different to me. We have different backgrounds, so. And I think that's a wonderful thing. It's something I really like about Ink Drop. All right, so that is the Nico number five. As you guys can see, compared to this G nib illustration above it, it is a very, very fine line. There's really not much flex. Without having done my research, without having done my due diligence, I would say this is probably a background and architectural nib. And if you guys are interested, I can definitely look that up and let y'all know. It doesn't make it any less worthwhile. Um, once I stopped bearing down so hard, I didn't have problems with paper nipping. It didn't, it wasn't any more prone to railroading than any of the other Nico nibs. So I think I'm the issue. And the nib itself is a fine nib. And I picked up this set at the Kino Cunha in San Jose. Uh, I know Deleter sells Nico brand products and you can order things from their manga shop. And I believe you can find some of these on Amazon, if not all. So check the description if you like what you see for links on where you can get these nibs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow with the last of our nib reviews. We have this little croak wheel to take a look at. And then we are done unless you guys decide you wanna send me nibs. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out some of my other nib reviews here on this channel. Bye guys.